Hi guys, Shmexy here, and today we're looking at a close quarter combat mistake that Tarko players make way too often. Could you already guess what that mistake is? Ignore the part where my sprint gets stuck and I'm running directly into a player like Rambo. Apart from that, what's the single biggest mistake you see? Of course, it's the grenade pull. Pulling out a grenade when you're too close, or doing anything else such as healing or reloading, leaves you completely vulnerable to a push. While most Tarko players are not super aggressive and will not punish you for this, experienced players like myself will gladly take that guaranteed free kill when you start performing an action too close. So today we're looking at how to prevent dying like this, and by the end of the video I hope you will realize that you can easily punish other people who are making this mistake and get away with tons of free kills. First, let's have a look at this situation I had in dorms, playing against a duo. I have a pretty good feeling there's a guy in that room opposite the stairs. First I shoot some bullets, try to bait him out, there is no response. Then I quickly check if anyone's above me in the stairs. This draws the guy out. Now I hear the reload. I know he doesn't have enough time to finish it, so I go for the push. Then I hear the teammate activate. I don't know if he's on first floor or second floor. So I keep an eye out on the floor below me, just in case. Then I get a confirmation he's above me. Now I want to ask you guys, what do you think this guy will do? A. Act normal. Or B. Die to the same shit as his teammate did. Let's take a look. There goes the reload. And oh, I swear to you guys, I get kills like this way too often. It's like they never learn. Whenever you are fighting someone who is close by, and you want to reload, heal or throw a grenade, the most important thing you must do is to listen. Now you're probably going to tell me, but I have my headset on, I'm always listening to the game. No, I mean listen really carefully. Because not only will your reload obstruct the other audio that you hear, but also, there might be other sources of sound in a fight, such as PMCs moving around, shooting, and making absolute chaos around you. But through all of that, you must be able to hear that first running step towards you. And you should not only hear it, but you should also have a plan ready in your mind for what to do when it happens. Let me jump into an offline raid and play back the scenario we just looked at in dorms. I'm going to show you what these two players could have done better to avoid getting killed. Imagine I'm the first guy I fought. I'm stuck in this room and I have to reload. There's really no options for falling back as this room is a dead end. What I would do is close the door and tuck myself in the corner. This way, it would take longer for an enemy to push as they would have to open the door first. The reason I would stay in the corner is to avoid getting spammed through the door. Another option is to get out of the room. You only need to be exposed for about a second, so you can easily catch timing to get out to a further and safer location. As for the other PMC, who was reloading right about here, I would only have reloaded one or two shotgun rounds and then cancelled, or even better I would have fallen back to somewhere here, or even these back rooms over here. Much safer. Here is another thing I recommend you try. Do a reload and see how far you can run. This distance is how far away you should be from anyone to perform a reload or heal safely. Keep in mind that people can also have higher levels of strength than you, or be using stimulants, making them even faster. Likewise, this is the distance within which I recommend you to push people. You can even do it from a bit further, because even if your enemy did just about finish their reload, I promise you, They'll be panicking and screaming, and their aim is more likely going to be off, putting you in an advantage. Now let's have a look at some other clips I have. I actually didn't play this one too well, but still got the kill. What did I do wrong? I stopped. I should have kept sprinting and killed him while he still had his nade out but me hesitating almost resulted in me going down. He had an impact nade, not just a regular nade, so really I'm lucky to survive here, but still, I killed him, and it just shows how good this method is to push people when they're not ready. 
As for the enemy, he had plenty of time to switch back to his primary weapon, or he should have already thrown the grenade at the door, anticipating that I'm going to continue the push, so I would blow up just when I'm about to peek the door. This clip is one of my favorites, because it shows if you mistime your grenade throw, you can look very silly, even against just a pistol runner. What did he do wrong? He didn't listen. He could have pulled back to his weapon, or went behind some cover, such as this room I'm here in, or this pillar, as he's reaching out for his weapon. But that wasn't the only time I've killed someone while having a worse weapon than them. It feels like it doesn't matter what gun you're using. If the enemy is not holding their gun, you can just simply run up to them and kill them. And in my experience, this is not only a beginner's mistake. Even high-level PMCs, such as this guy running Excel and VSS, make this mistake. They're not used to being pushed like this, and so they're actually really, really easy to kill. You just start listening for those sound cues and run as soon as you hear them. Oh, I killed him, I killed him, me here. To sum everything up, here's the main things you should remember from this video. Get used to how long it takes to perform various actions in the game. A reload, a grenade throw, and a switch back to your weapon from holding a grenade. Whenever you plan to use a grenade, reload or heal, listen carefully for your enemy's push. Think about what you will do if they do decide to push you. Will you switch back to your weapon, or will you reposition further back? Remember to use all sorts of cover and that you can also close doors or go prone if necessary. Likewise, listen out for other PMC actions, and don't be afraid to push them if they are close. You will often catch them by surprise and come out on top. If you found this video useful, click that like button and leave a comment down below. You can also find me streaming on Twitch if you want to see any of this action performed live. The link will be in the video description. Peace.